going on everyone welcome back to another video another one i know who would have expected it but i'm actually quite excited today it's going to be quite a satisfying video because i am cleaning the au motor in a little bit of an unconventional way because this engine is so caked with oil that it's got like layers and layers of oil so Oli Mechanic gave me the idea of using oven cleaner. Now you might be thinking, why would you use oven cleaner? Well, think about it, right? When you're cooking in an oven and shit goes everywhere and it gets stained on the glass and stuff, it's usually greasy and like caked on with high heat, right? See the uh, correlation there? So oil, right? Same thing. So it's caked on with a lot of heat. And as you can see, the oven cleaner is working quite well to get rid of all the oil. It's bubbling up and it's literally just falling off. Um, and I've got three cans of this stuff, so I'm going to absolutely cake this motor in oven cleaner and see how it comes up. I did an oil change on this engine probably three days before I crashed it and then it never drove again. It's a little bit black, just a bit. So I reckon I did a total of 500 kilometers on this on this motor, but I feel like that's just every AU. Every AU is just gonna have black oil, unless it's on LPG or ethanol, which this engine will be on. So I'm gonna flip the engine over so it'll make it a little bit easier to clean the sump and everything. It's all sizzling away, which is all very satisfying. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a very good idea. This is a, literally a life hack. If you guys want to clean an engine, use oven cleaner. And if I can find my pressure washer, I'm going to pressure wash it as well. And then it should come out Mickey. <laughs> I'm not keeping this balancer, but look at the bolt. You can see the bolt now. The, I never knew how the crank bolt just appeared out of nowhere. Amazing. So I've used up all three cans of oven cleaner. Like this is tw over 20 years of just oil just built up. And look at this, it just wipes off. Look at that, you can see the metal. See the cast alloy underneath it. It just wipes off. Look at all this, it's just dripping off. All the just years of gunk just dripping off. Fantastic. Let's try. Please don't explode. GG. <laughs> so, uh, crisis of. So crisis averted here, I used a, uh, you can't really see because this lens is crap, but I used a 12 point socket on that and it rounded the head of the bolt. But we bought a six point socket from Bunning and we managed to just hammer it on and get it loose. So now we're gonna see if my big boy gun will just rattle off the head bolts. Creamy. <laughs> Check this out. It's actually not too bad. Lovely. Let's have a look at the bores. I can still see the cross hatching. Yeah. How good's that? Brand new second hand. All right, you guys ready for this? The grand reveal. So I don't know if you guys remember, but my EF motor, which currently isn't here, it's in the boot of the AU because it's going to the scrap. It was quite ovaled in the cylinder walls, meaning that the cross hatching on basically half of the cylinders were missing because the rings were damaged. They were, you know, it was a unknown kilometer engine. And basically over time it ruined and well, it basically wore away the cross hatching, which isn't good because that means that the motor was not looked after as we clearly found out. But this engine has around 275,000 kilometers, which is quite a lot, but check this out. You can still see the cross hatching all the way around, which is beautiful. Absolutely lovely. 
So even on this cylinder, there is, the last one is usually the worst one because it gets the most amount of heat, but even then, like look at it. It's BA beautiful, if I must say so myself. Cruiser down boys, front dry shaft snapped off the diff, the bolts are snapped, tough. Before I was really interrupted by the cruiser snapping its front tail shaft in half, I was able to get all the accessories off the engine, which means that next video I will be able to dive deeper into the Intec world, taking the sump off taking the timing cover off, the timing chain, replace the timing chain, your guides, all that exciting stuff. Yeah, so the engine mounts are off. I have to switch this over with the EF1 that I have laying over there, so I'll do that. And I might go ahead and clean up the block and stuff a bit more. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying the uh, Intech content. There's only more to come, so please stick around and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.